Now that we understand the motivation of the players, we can look at how their actions are reconciled in the auction. So I'm going to do a very simple example to start with. It's a case where there are three slots, so three positions where ads could appear, and there's four bidders who are competing for those slots. What happens is every time a query is made on Google, we run an auction. And the auction is an auction for clicks. So advertisers only have to pay when they receive a click. In this particular case, we have our four advertisers with different bids, four, three, two, and one. And the ads are ordered in terms of those bids. Highest bidder gets the first position, second highest bidder the second position, and so on. They don't have to pay their bid when they receive a click. They only have to pay the bid of the advertiser below them. So in this particular case, we have the first advertiser bidding $4, but they only have to pay $3, which is the bid of the second highest advertiser. Same thing for advertiser 2 and for advertiser 3. So in this way, each advertiser can bid their maximum willingness to pay, but what they have to pay is just enough to beat the competition.